In the directory where you want to install the package, create a file called .nbmrc and paste the following configuration. You can see currently the LWC is empty as I have not connected this with any old. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you have been working with Salesforce Omni Studio for a while, you already know how powerful Omni scripts are when it comes to guiding users through dynamic data driven experiences. But sometimes the standard Omni script element just doesn't match your use case, and that's where customization comes in. In this video, I will walk you through how to properly set up your local development environment so you can safely customize Omni script elements using Salesforce supported method. By the end, you will have everything ready for real custom development. So, let's get started. Before we dive in, let's clarify what what customizing OmniScript elements really means. We are not editing managed package code directly. Instead, Salesforce gives us a safe, upgrade-friendly way to extend OmniScript elements through a customization npm package. To do that, we need a properly configured local environment, one where we can download the package, make our changes, and deploy the custom components back into our work. And that's exactly what we will be setting up today. Alright, let's quickly go over what you will need. You will need a Salesforce org, ideally a sandbox or a developer org with OmniStudio or Salesforce Industries in the next thing that you are going to need is VS Code or Visual Studio Code with Salesforce CLI and Salesforce Extension Pack installed. We will also be using Git because we will be adding the downloaded component into our repository. For those who doesn't have an NPM key yet, I'll share the components in our repo for reference. But I always recommend getting your own access key and downloading the latest version directly. Finally, make sure your user has permission to access Omni Studio setup and run SFD command. Once these are in place, let's start configuring. First, we will download the actual OmniScript customization package from Salesforce's official repository. This is the most important step because this npm package contains the extendable OmniScript elements you will be customizing. First, request an npm repository access key from Salesforce customer support. This key gives you secure access to the OmniStudio repository hosted at repo.velocity.com. To get the access key, log into help.salesforce.com and create a new support case under Salesforce Industries OmniStudio. And for the subject, write it down as download OmniStudio command components to extend for standard Omni Studio Designer and mention that you are requesting an NPM repository access key for the OmniScript customization package. Include your org ID from the company information page and submit the key. Once approved, Salesforce support will send you the access key by email, usually within a day or two. Once you receive your key, keep it safe, we will use it in the next step. Now, in the directory where you want to install the package, create a file called .npmrc and paste the following configuration. For this step, I choose the root folder, so go to your root folder and double click on the outside and paste .npmrc that will create an npmrc file and uh, and paste the I'm pasting the configuration and save okay. now since I already have my authentication key I'm going to replace this auth key with my authentication key replace the auth key with the one provided by your salesforce support ticket this file tells the npm to always authenticate with your key when downloading from salesforce industries repository now open your terminal in the same directory and run the following command so this command installs the omniscript customization package with the latest supported component. Once the installation finishes, verify that the following items now exist in your directory. Here you can see I have the node modules already here and the package JSON file is also here which means the installation is successful. Now go to the following file path which will give you the OmniScript customization folder. So open your node modules and open OmniStudio, OmniScript customization. Now if you see the folders named labels, LWCs, message channels, package.xml, license file etc. Then congratulations you have successfully downloaded the customization package. Now the next step is to bring the downloaded components into your Salesforce project. So from the npm installation directory, now from the npm installation directory, copy the necessary folders or components into your Salesforce project. Now let's say you want to bring all the LWC components uh, into your Salesforce project. You should copy the LWC folders from here, copy and go to your project which is the force app main default and under LWC. You can see currently the LWC is empty as I have not connected this with any old what you can do is you can either delete this and paste it into the default folder which will include all the lwc components from the omni studio package and all the lwc components from that package will be available in your project so based on what folders or components you copy you should have a folder structure something similar to this so this mirrors salesforce structure and ensure proper deployment order later now let's go ahead and connect your project into your salesforce org okay inside vs code press command shift p on mac or control shift p on windows
windows and type sfdx authorize and org and hit on enter and choose custom and then please log in with your salesforce credentials okay. now that we have successfully authorized into our org let's go ahead and uh, customize one element so we can use it in our omniscript in your project go to the lwc directory and create a new subfolder for your custom component let's say we want to extend the omniscript text component we'll create a folder called custom text so on, in our project under the lwc folder uh, here you can see i have cleared all the other uh, omniscript one best practice that you should always follow is to only bring in the lwc that you want to actually override in this case we were we are overriding the omniscript text component so i have already cleared all the all the lwcs that we previously copied from the omnistudio package so i'm going to create a brand new folder called custom text and inside that i am going to create the necessary files which is a js file an html file and an xml file now uh, go back to the original component which you actually want to extend in this case it is omniscript text so we will find the omniscript text which is right here open all the file and copy paste all the content of the of those files into your custom component uh, for xml use this following data so here is what's happening we are importing the base omniscript text component and extending it that means we in inherit all its core functionality and can add or override specific behaviors if needed and the metadata file defines the components api version and label and we keep is exposed as false since it is not a standalone component but an extension in our custom html file you can safely modify it change the markup and add css classes or inject new logic through conditional rendering for example you could add a custom css class to style input borders or display helper text differently for now we are going to change the label or before changing the label let's first deploy this and see if we are able to deploy we are facing this deployment issues because the template you pushed which is in this case the custom text html is trying to render omni studios base input and marked input lwc from the default c namespace as you can see this is the c name but those helper components doesn't exist in your source or target org omni studio ships them inside a managed package managed package so salesforce looks for something like omni studio colon input or the namespace you see from your setup so basically you will have to change this namespace wherever you are in to find it go to your setup open the install packages and look find the omni studio package and under namespace prefix you can find your namespace so copy the namespace and replace the c namespace with your namespace which is omni studio so we can replace c with omni studio let's do replace all and let's do it for all other files so we have the javascript file and here you can come and remove and let's try to deploy this again here we are getting an another error which basically says it's not able to find omniscript text html because right now we have custom text html so let's replace that to custom text html and let's deploy and as you can see the deployment is successful let's go ahead and open one of our omniscript so here is a basic omniscript designer and i'm going to add the text element let's go ahead and drag and drag and drop the text element and if you preview it right now it's just a normal text input which looks like the one which is out of the box let's go ahead and design now let's go ahead and make some changes into this default text element let's go to the html part and change the label into custom text input okay like let's deploy again and the deployment is successful let's refresh the changes have been taken effect let's preview oh look looks like i forgot to add one important step so after adding your element into the omni script go to the element properties and override using your custom component in this case our custom component is custom text so let's override the element with custom text and let's go ahead and preview it again and as you can see our custom label is appearing which means we have successfully overridden the element from omni script so there are basically two ways you can override an existing element with the custom component per element override which is basically selecting an individual element and going to its properties and replacing it with your custom component or you can do a global mapping which will map all elements of a certain type for example every text field to your custom component through the component mapping setting so before wrapping up let's look at some of the best practices so don't try to modify managed components directly it is always better to extend them keep your custom component clearly named and documented test thoroughly in a sandbox before deploying to production and keep your repo updated with every package upgraded from salesforce and that's all you have now learned how to extend an omniscript lightning web component safely and cleanly in this example we extended the text element but the same process works for any supported omniscript element if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more sales for omni studio tutorial